I am so happy to be back again. <sighs> it's been three months since my last video. A whole summer has passed. Back then, it was June and the summer was just getting started. And now, it's the beginning of October. The autumn is in its most beautiful bloom right in this moment. I always feel like the autumn brings a new feeling of some sort, like a new beginning, and this time it feels like that more than ever. I am so grateful to be back again. So, this summer was a bit special. It feels like I've been away for three months, but I have been here all the time. It's just that my focus has been somewhere else. Since early July, my one and only focus has been on finishing all the last work with our new webshop, so that we could launch it now in September. Me and my team has been working and planning on this webshop for almost two years. Now we only had the last parts left to do, to fill the webshop with our creations. With our jewelry designs and my paintings and my photo prints and all the other things that a website needs. I thought it would be the easiest part, but it was much more work than I could ever imagine. The very first thing I did in July was to move my whole painting studio from the old beautiful little cottage in our homestead back into two of the rooms in our old house. And now you might wonder, why did I do that? Simply because the old cottage needs huge renovations. It's leaking in too much cold air in the winters which makes it really hard for me to work in there when it's cold outside. And also, I needed more space. So, this was a perfect solution for now. I got a lot of help from my family to fix everything with the new studio. Philip, fixing furnitures. FFF. <laughs> <laughs> You can hire Philip to fix your furniture. Är det hela näsan? Kolla på dig. After a week everything was done and I suddenly had this beautiful studio with much more space and a place that will be warm even in the coldest winter. Something I haven't had for over two years. It felt like a dream coming true. The same day as my studio was ready, I began to work with all my finished paintings to make them ready for hopefully moving to a new home in the near future. If you're not an artist, you might think that the painting is ready when you've finished painting it. But no, actually many times it takes me more time to fix with everything afterwards than it actually takes for me to paint it. Signing the paintings, varnishing them a couple of times, and then build the frames and frame them. Each and every painting also needs a certificate of authenticity. And after that, it's time to take stylish photos of the paintings, which is always something I struggle with. Doing that kind of product photography is not my thing. It took me three weeks of work to get the paintings ready. And then it was August. The next step for me was to work with the product photography for our whole jewelry collection. I needed to focus fully, so I went to our cabin in the mountains for two weeks.
I was outside from sunrise to sunset every day, taking photos in different beautiful places. I spent many days by this river. I loved the colors of the stones and the flowing water, and it gave the right feeling to the photos. And I almost feel like I don't remember so much of these two weeks, because I was so focused. I put my whole heart and soul into the photos of the jewelry. It became my whole world to make these photos live up to the designs and the love that we put into this collection for the past two years. And when I was done with the product photography, it was time to take photos when I was wearing the jewelry. And that was a whole other adventure. <laughs> Many times I wished I would have asked another photographer for help. Being the model and the photographer at the same time was a bit tricky. But I did my very best and in the end I was happy with the result. Okay, I'm so 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 cold. I can't feel my hands. This is the really hard part about taking jewelry photography outside when it's so cold because my hands get all swollen, like all red, like big sausages. And I'm supposed to take photos of rings on my fingers and it doesn't look good at all. On rainy days, I continued with the photography from inside our cabin. I tried my best to make the photos look as professional as I could. And I think it's kind of fun to show the behind the scenes of work like this. I love to think about that a lot of the jewelry photos on our website are actually taken from here, in our cozy little cabin in the mountains. Things doesn't always have to be so perfect or professional, because you can make a lot from a little. Taking the photos is only half of the job. Editing them and making them good for the website takes just as long time. So that's why it took me about a month to get this work done. Even though I stared into a camera lens or into a computer screen for most of the time, I really enjoyed all the evenings by the wild rivers. I felt how it boosted me with healing energy from nature in the middle of all the work. And the early foggy mornings took my breath away every time. During these weeks, I really felt that I had the most beautiful office in the whole world. So, now you get a little glimpse into where my focus have been this summer. I'm a person who has a very hard time to focus on many things at the same time. If I can, I want to put 100% of my focus on one project only. Otherwise, I easily get stressed and feel disconnected to what I'm doing. I can't put my heart and soul into many things at the same time. I want to give all my focus and energy into one thing at a time in order to do my very best. So that's what I did. I had to prioritize and put aside my work with filmmaking and social media for a while, even though I really wanted to make videos and be here with you as well. But sometimes you gotta focus and get shit done. Even if this summer mostly was focused around work, we still took any chance we could to do the best out of it. It really was a beautiful summer and there were many magical moments that I'm so grateful for. The garden that we worked so hard with in the spring really gave us so much joy and a great harvest during the whole summer. Since June, we have been eating fresh salad and vegetables from our garden every day. And I also collected some herbs that will be great for tea and medicine during the winter. And of course, plenty of berries.
Hej Johan. And one of the best things I know is to pick berries with my grand uncle Tage. It's just always a special feeling in the air, which reminds me of childhood memories. Okay. Cloudberries can sometimes be hard to find, but there were plenty of them this year. Det är hur mycket som helst. Oh, vad glad jag blir! Oh, jag blir så glad. Har du sett så här mycket gjort någon gång? Nej, jag tror inte. Det är väl här då. Ja. Eller ni bara jag. Nej, det är mig. Okay. Men du vet ju den man går ut. Är du nöjd? Ja. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ska du ha en snus? Ja, fan. Jag hittar en snus. Jävel. <laughs> då spyr jag ner hela skogen. Skål på er då. Skål. Men här brukar vi en pär. Nej, jag har inte tittat. Another thing that happened this summer is that I celebrated 10 years living here in Grunchan. I moved here in August 2010. It's hard to understand that it's been 10 years since then. But at the same time, I feel like I've been living here my whole life. The same week as I moved here in 2010, I took a photo of myself sitting on the stairs by the house where I lived. So, I took a similar photo of myself now in August, exactly 10 years apart. And I actually still had the same clothes as I had back then, and the same coffee cup, which I got from my grandmother. And, since I got my dog Nanok by the same time as I moved here, he now turned 10 years old this summer. He was born on August 21st in 2010. He has been my best friend for 10 years now, and I just can't imagine how my life would have been without him. And even though he's getting older now, he is still so much like a puppy. So full of life and curiosity and happiness. So it's really been a wonderful summer. So many good things has been happening. And now in the end of September, we finally launched our new website and webshop. It was a huge happening for us, and me and my team, which is my family, launched it on a Saturday evening two weeks ago, so we all met up to celebrate with some champagne. <laughs> Woo! My brother Philip couldn't join, so he was with us on Skype. Skål Philip! Skål! Skål! Even though the site crashed after only six minutes because of too much traffic, we were so happy and excited. It felt like a relief that this never-ending project finally were done. After the launch, I spent a week helping Johan with all the jewelry orders. It felt so unreal to finally be up and running with our jewelry again. We had been dreaming about this moment for so long. It's Sunday today, it's the day after the launch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the very first day we're gonna go and work, mm. you know. We're gonna pack your jewelry orders and, you know, get started. And it feels unreal because we have waited for so long for this moment. Uh, and I really look forward to to help you a little bit now. I'm gonna write thank you cards because <laughs> I really like to, you know, make it a little personal and you have a lot of mail to answer mm. and yeah, <laughs> let's get shit done. <laughs> 
now I'm actually packing our very first order from Tamara. The origin arm cup. Thank you so much, Tamara. <laughs> I will put all my love in it. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, now we had a lot of work to do in another way. It was long days and nights in the smithy, but the feeling of finally being able to do what we worked so hard for gave us lots of energy. But we got lots of help from all of the team, who was working and helping out in different ways. Hello? Hey, Sha. You think you want that? Yeah, he's here. Yeah, he's good. I think you can take me to Lana for a walk. If there's any cancel order. Yeah. Hello, hello. Hello, shipping master. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna ship all the packages to our customers. <laughs> I'm senior advisor to the board. Yes. <laughs> They're gonna have a long journey. Most of them going to the other, yeah, the other side of the world, I think. Yes. But also a lot to Wisconsin, Muskego, Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah. Bessemer, <laughs> Alabama. Wow, it's really all over the world. Yes. It's so fun. Beverly Hills. <laughs> Pearson. All over the world. Yeah. I just really love the contrast of having our little business in this old barn in the middle of the woods and sending our jewelry to the whole world. It's hard to take in. Just as I can sit here right now in my little studio making a video and you, maybe from the other side of the world, can watch it. It's just amazing. I'm really thankful for the technology today that makes it possible for me to live like this but still have a door open to the rest of the world. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I have to buy a new car. <laughs> yes, a big van. Yes. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah. <laughs> Drive safe. Yes. Hi bye, bye bye. Bye bye. <sighs> so here we are now. It's the 3rd of October today and I'm just so happy to finally sit here again talking with you guys, making a video again and you know just doing what I love. I can't describe <laughs> how happy I feel. It feels like I've been in a cage of work for so long and now I'm free again. <laughs> So it's really been an intense summer, uh, but I know it's been for a lot of you in different ways. Um, but we made it here <laughs> and <laughs> I just feel so excited to be back. Uh, I really missed this so, so much. I guess the good thing about being away from your daily life for a while, to be away from the things you usually do, is that you really get to feel if you're doing what you love if you miss it or not. And I've been missing this so, so much. It's been, I've been desperate in a way because I've had so many things I wanted to share with you during the summer. I had so many video ideas. Uh, I've had so much inspiration lately, uh, but I've had to, you know, lock it down a little bit so that I could focus on the other things. But now uh, I'm back again and yeah, I'm super happy. <laughs> I could talk about this for hours, how happy I am to be back. I really want to thank you for your patience, for still being here, even though I haven't made a video in so long time. I really think that's a beautiful thing with YouTube, that usually you don't lose your subscribers if you haven't done a video in a long time. Usually people still wait and still, you know, hope for a new video and 
I think I talk for a lot of YouTube creators out there that it's it means so much uh, when the people that follow your work still are waiting for you even though you might have times when you maybe are uninspired and you can't create or you have a lot of things to do so you can't create you know it's a it can be a big stress uh, to to think about that you're gonna lose all the people that that you <laughs> have gained during the years uh, at least I felt a lot like that back in time when my channels weren't this big and everything felt a little bit more unstable and sometimes when I hadn't done anything creative in a while I had this fear that I would lose the beautiful people and the community that I had put so much time and effort into building up uh, because you know how social media is today you you a lot of people feel that I have to you know update all the time to to keep it going uh, but I really I really don't like that I I'm <laughs> I really appreciate so much that you are still here and that I have the freedom to create out of my heart and not because I feel like I have to to keep you there you know so another good and crazy thing that's been happening since last time is that we have reached two million subscribers on this YouTube channel <laughs> I don't know how it happened especially since I've been so inactive here lately two million subscribers how is it possible who are you <laughs> like thank you thank you thank you thank you I don't know how to thank you enough but I don't know what to say because it feels so unreal really because it feels like it was yesterday that we celebrated 1 million subscribers and now it's already 1 million more and yeah, I, I, I just, yeah, it's just hard to, <laughs> yeah, it's just hard to grasp. I can't believe how so many people have come to this channel. So again, I, I'm, I'm so thankful and so speechless <laughs> because like now, out of all the things you can do in the world right now, out of all the things you can spend your time on, you choose to be here right now watching this and listening to me and and watch my videos <laughs> I'm I'm really thankful for that you no know? it's it's you who inspire me to keep sharing and keep doing what I love and I'm so deeply thankful for that I also want to give a big thanks to all my subscribers on patreon because uh, they have all been a, a big part of this journey I started with um, filmmaking two years ago they really helped me to to change my path, uh, to, to leave the, the crazy influencer social media world where you know you had to rely on other companies and, and ads and stuff. I, I felt so bad in that world. I didn't want to be there. So thanks to all my subscribers on Patreon, I was actually able to, to you know, go full time into making videos and creating music and doing all these things that I love, even if they didn't give me any money at that point. So. I'm really thankful for that. I feel like I'm holding a, a speech to give thanks to everyone, but yeah, I guess that's what I'm doing because I'm I'm so grateful for everything. And today the sun is shining and I haven't seen a glimpse of the sun for like over a week because it's been so foggy and cloudy and really heavy weather, you know. And it's so nice to see the blue sky and the sun again and it's really warm outside. I just really want to take in every second of this now because you know the winter can come any day now in October usually the autumn is over you know after just one windy day probably all the leaves will be gone from the trees because <laughs> right now it's really beautiful with all the colors and usually in October the first snow often comes um, but it's very different from year to year but at least I know that very soon I won't be able to sit outside like this in over a half a year but I really enjoy the winters as well I can't wait to make a new ice singing video for you this year 
I really hope to record some beautiful ice sounds again and yeah a lot of things I I'm so excited <laughs> so now this Saturday I'm gonna first go home and pick up Nanook and I'm gonna take him to the woods and I'm gonna pick some more lingam berries because it's really the last time now to pick the lingam berries before the, the frost comes. I have picked lingam berries already but not enough. Lingam berries are so good for your health and I really love to make lingam berry juice out of them and just drink as it is with no sugar or anything. Uh, it's really really good. So I think that will be a great way to to do the best I can out of this beautiful sunny day. Um, and then tonight I'm gonna continue editing this video, so I will be able to upload it on Monday. It's so crazy that there is still mosquitoes outside. I mean, it's October, but I don't know if you have seen them, but they are swirling around. Oh, actually, <laughs> you know what? I have my very own mosquito spray. I've had it with me in my camera bag for many weeks now. Look, Jonas mosquito spray. <laughs> So I got this mosquito spray from Tonja and she is the one who translates all my videos into German. Uh, she's such a wonderful person. <laughs> I've, I've got a beautiful, beautiful package from her with, with some things that she had made herself and she made this mosquito spray for me. It's made out of essential oils and it just smells wonderful and it actually works really good. Mm. Ah, this is like the best perfume as well. And you know, this smell reminds me so much now of when I was in the mountains taking pictures of all the jewelry <laughs> because I was wearing this like all the time because it was a lot of mosquitoes. <laughs> all right, I feel like I could keep talking for hours. So since this video will probably be uploaded on Monday, I wish you all a beautiful week and uh, take care everyone. I see you soon again. Mwah! I send you so much love and the biggest hug. Bye bye.